Hi everyone, I'm Nick Curtis, the Art Toy Advocate, and I have reason for fans of stunning mechs to rejoice. The Duong's Cubebot from JPX Toys. But if, like me, you're not a big manga buff, then you might be wondering who the Duong is. So let's start there. The Duong is the pen name of Barachai Duong Pla, a Thai artist who is probably best known for his manga series, The Story Begins With. To understand just how well recognized this piece is, it was chosen out of 189 entries at the 4th Annual International Manga Awards and given one of the three coveted silver placements. Of course, on the other hand, designer toy fans might recognize his work more readily from the Thailand Toy Expo as he designed and illustrated the event's Nong Toy mascot character. For his first partnering with JPX, the Duong designed the Cubebot figure, which is housed in this exquisitely illustrated box. While the packaging might appear a bit minimalist in execution, once you compare it to the piece within, then it becomes obvious representation of the mech itself made all the more appropriate given the robot's angular nature. The cube bot stands about six inches tall and has eight points of articulation. Wait, did I just say eight points of articulation? I did. The arms, the forearms, the hands, and even the legs all rotate. But the multitude of display options this grants you isn't even the best part of the figure. The paint application has a really skillful, thoughtful weathering to it, which stands out on the white detailing, but is brilliantly carried over to the joints and, more subtly, to the body itself. For cohesion, even the Devil Child Driver has a gritty color wash on his eyes and teeth. The multi-tone steampunk exhausts have a wonderful texture and a beautiful asymmetry to them, the latter really being pronounced from the top view. And a similar aesthetic is granted to the rocket pack on the back. Now, you might be wondering what this hole is for. Well. The Cubot comes with a wind-up key accessory. A beautiful piece with or without this inserted. I love how including it gives the hole a nostalgic toy feel and also places it in line with the Thailand Toy Expo mascot. This piece actually debuted at this year's Thailand Toy Expo with the edition limited to 400 copies most of which were this original red version, and 20% were randomly packaged monochromatic chases. Regardless of which color you received, I definitely think you got yourself a winner here. That said, it is a piece that you have to be a bit careful with. The soft vinyl used to manufacture CubeBot leaves smaller parts very vulnerable to bending and even potentially breaking. This is noticeable with the fingers, but I'm most concerned about the piping elements and especially the driver figure's neck, hands, and little joystick controllers. But these concerns are meaningless once you put the piece in your Daytolf cabinet and just let the vinyl sculpture speak for itself. Some of this edition might still be available from the Playhouse website, playhousetheh.com, but if not, be on the lookout for the forthcoming Black Edition. And make sure you follow JPX on Facebook under the username JPXBrand for updates on releases of future versions. Thank you for watching me, the Art Toy Advocate, Nick Curtis.
Agree with me? Disagree with me? Let me know your thoughts on the Duang's Cube Bot by commenting below as well as liking or disliking this video on YouTube. And please remember to subscribe to the CoArt YouTube channel to be kept up to date on my reviews.